All right, guys. Well, I've got it all mounted. There is this little recessed screw here. I couldn't go with the flat one. I had to go with this one. So I have a smaller diameter hole than a bigger hole, so this recess is a little bit. But as you can see, it's mounted up all nice, flush, and tight. Um, it's on there pretty good. I like it. Let's see what it looks like on the rifle. Oh, what's up, douche nozzles? Check it out. I've got the lower forearm grip of the AK out. Here's the heat shield. Here is the rail section. Here is the piece that goes in behind the rail section. And here are two screws. Now, I can either, I've already got this x out on here, I can either attach this rail section here, and then have the AFG, which, where's the AFG? This whole thing depends on the AFG. Where did I put it? Oh, I'll hold on to it over here. <clears throat> All right. This goes on there like thus. Now, I could put it on like that, which, as I was saying, as you see, there's a lot of gap. See all that empty space under there? By using a rail attachment piece. Now, I could go with like a Magpul rail attachment piece, shave it down, but I don't have anything like that, so why bother? I'm not going to go out and buy it. And then it doesn't, of course, come up and it bumps up here. So what I think I'm going to do is try mounting it straight on like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to radius this area right here, get rid of some of this rail, because even if I decide to use this, Getting rid of this area back here ain't going to do anything. And then this way I'll be able to have it mounted flatter and farther back. Instead of like that. It'll be like that flush. We'll see. Alright guys, let me uh, cut the tape and sand. Alright guys, I want to show you what I did here. I shaved down the sides. Right here and right there. I could probably trim that up a little bit better. Um... I funneled this out and I cut this in this way in this way so now it fits in there even better so if you look but right there it's perfectly level and it fits in everywhere I mean it's kind of a eh it, but back here but I mean there's only so much you can do to make that you know you know that perfect you would think if you go down like this but then it just kicks it out this way so right there it's perfectly level so right there when it's at the end so I think it came out pretty good and uh, that's all the grinding I did I cut out the grooves here Left these, I flatten them out this way. They used to stick up like that. Flatten them out this way. Cut them in here. This came out to about here. Cut it in. Radiused it. And then gave a little radius there. Cut these down. That's actually kind of easy. And uh, that's that. Now uh, I'll do the mounting. Alright guys. I drilled two holes right down the center basically that's going to line up with the handguard I got screws that are going to go into this hole's a little tight so I have to screw screw the actual screw into the hole I got to screw the screw But you can see I'm using these uh, flat mount. I mean, it's still going to be somewhere on there, but it should be okay. We'll see. And then it comes through the hole. And then it's going to mount like that. Okay? So, 
both the screws line up. But that's that, real simple. And what I do too is, even though there's a bolt through here now, I take this little nut, I take this little bolt out, and then I drill a hole straight through. Not big enough for the screw to go through, but big enough that a um, Allen key could go through and make contact with the with the nut head and, and spin it. So that's what I do. All right, all right, guys. Well, we got it on the rifle. Looks pretty good. There is one thing, and I wasn't sure, and I figured it probably wasn't going to work. The cleaning rod doesn't go through anymore, um, just because I guess it does come in. I was hoping that I could miss the bolts just a little bit. I think if, I, uh, if I'm if i able to get these flat ones just a little bit longer, like a quarter of an inch longer, I, I might I should be good, and it should, it should be able to go right through. But as of right now, it doesn't. But like I said, I mounted it right here. And I mounted it right here, and it fit on there pretty nice. Pretty simple to do. Basically, you know, and I mean, that's on there real sturdy. Um, and now it gives it a nice, um, real nice nice fit. Of course, I'll stipple the shit out of this Magpul like I do everything else. And uh, we're going to see about the, the light mount. I believe Infidel Arms is going to send something for the light switch. And uh, when I hold it, I could, you know, this is, I mean, this is real good. I could... If I really wanted to, I could hold it like that or go just like that, you know. But as far as length of pull from where the AFG is compared to the pistol grip, it's almost the same as my AR. So like I said, I want to maintain that, you know, that familiarity with uh, with uh, cross platforms because this way it's just, it's just better in the long run uh, for training purposes and stuff like that. But I like it. I think it's good. Um, I, I don't, maybe some other people out there might not like it, but... I think it came out pretty good. Um, we mounted the light here yesterday. And uh, with the pressure switch, that's going to be pretty badass. Uh, real nice. Really good. And uh, we mounted the uh, AFG today. So, thanks for watching, guys. Came out pretty good. Took this plain Jane AK, you know, and did some stuff to it for really just the price of an AFG. Next, I uh, definitely am going to be getting the Krebs Custom Safety. Krebs, uh, the, 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 the safety with the cutout, and then, you know. Uh, and then as soon as that Magpul AK grip comes available, I want to go for that. I want to go for the Magpul grip. And uh, that'll be that, I think, for this. I, don't th I might go with a custom, uh, with, the, with one, one of the mounts, and put a red dot on here. I really don't like using the AK's iron sights. I mean... I use them, but I mean, I just, you know, I'd rather do a red dot, uh, but you know, you know how those red dots are, they're expensive as shit, so we'll see. Alright guys, thanks for watching.